society. What about the larger sections? What about those who are at the helm of affairs? My point is somewhere we have to, we have to talk to Jammu, we have to talk to Ladakh, we have to talk to Kashmiri Pandits, we have to talk to other sections of the society. We means the valley. And even in valley we have to talk to each other. We may differ. We have to develop, if we don't learn to develop some sort of a consensus, some sort of a frame which is workable, which we can put before the civil society of India or Pakistan or political parties here, then only there will be a moment forward. That's my suggestion. And the, similarly, if there is a statement today, I don't think uh, there is any, not, not so, Shah Saab is, uh, but certainly I would have liked that there should be some sort of a, uh, um, we should express our opinion, express our concern at least. They should talk, India and Pakistan should talk, and government of India should talk with the people of Jammu and Kashmir. I at least agree. this much I, is I, required. I, I agree with Comrade Taregami. Yes. And I hope that we can put out something. And perhaps we can start an uninterrupted and uninterruptible dialogue within civil society. If we can get, we, Shah Saab, you're the right man to do it. If we can get elements in Kashmir to set up a structured dialogue with elements from here, then let us see whether we can start meeting once a month and end up meeting once a week and try and see whether we can move this on our own track because frankly, and here I'm being partisan, I don't think anything you or I say or Comrade Tarigami says, is going to influence South Bloc at this moment. Uh, Justice, uh, yes, Professor Bhatt, and then Justice uh, Satya. Professor Bhatt, please. Uh, we, we, we don't hear each other in Kashmir. That is the problem we face. So that's, least, that's I, the service of this. I made a statement in Srinagar at, at the party headquarters, Wazir Bagh, and offered, irrespective of party affiliations, a proposal to break walls, organizational walls, come out, join heads together, and move forward. Like this proposal included National Conference, <coughs> PDP, Congress, BJP, all <coughs> parties. And individuals. And uh, I am very delighted to, I am delighted that I got a supporter today in Tarigami Saab. And I assure you, I am prepared. When I say I am prepared, I mean the, the people who represent Hurriyat or who, they, who say we represent the soul of Kashmir, they, all of you will, they, all of them will join you. And you will join us. And we will join all, all other people around and move forward on a road to neither Delhi nor Islamabad, but on a road to tomorrow. Just say such a please. No, I was, uh, everything I did. I was only wondering, I mean, uh, Mani has quite rightly said that the BJP is taking a very mulish attitude in not talking to Pakistan and wanting certain conditions. I was only suggesting, is it not possible for the opposition in Rajya Sabha to say openly that I, we want the government to talk to Pakistan without doing any condition, even of terrorism or anything? That will put pressure, because the BJP is looking at 2019. In this condition, and having got, I don't know how, uh, on their side, uh, UP, they'll not do on their own. So we can go on blaming them, G good enough. They'll, it will serve their purpose. But why can't we, what you are saying, I take it, it represents the view of the Congress, the CPM, CPI, and others. If that is so, and I, and I uh, uh, admit it, I am with you in there, that there is no, and more so money because you've been in Lahore for some time. I have a 25 years old equation before 47. I believe India and Pakistan are like twin, twins, Siamese twins, not twins, Siamese twins. Any blow on one is a blow on the other automatically. 
we can destroy each other by one blow, we can live together with one blow. But to think that we can live and they cannot live or they can live without us, it's utter nonsense. So why don't you persuade, I'm saying, please persuade the Rajya Sabha people where they have the majority at this time and the public opinion will be built up because every man wants his settlement. One comment. <laughs> um, I want to tell my good friend Mani Shankar Ayer <coughs> that we don't need to go to Colombia all the way to learn how to resolve conflicts. There are very many uh, countries which are very, 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 very full of experience in conflict resolution. Rwanda, in my experience, is the best country that is applicable to India. Thank you. Uh, may I now request my friend and colleague, Professor Bhan, to thank you. Thank you, Mr. Shah. It has been a very dense and intense meeting. And as usual, a subject like Kashmir has generated a very emotional environment which only shows that the Kashmir issue has primarily to be viewed as a human issue. It's not a political issue, an economic issue, but we have to think of the Kashmiris who are dealing with. And we have to recognize by now that today, and I'm very sorry to say this, one of the major betrayals in Kashmir is the betrayal of the Kashmiri leadership of their own people. When I say leadership, I think they were very inadequate. Kashmiris are very trusting people. And these leaders, in all their sincerity, looked at Kashmir issue as a, a political modern problem. If you look at a Kashmiri and you want to listen to the voice of Kashmiri for the solution of Kashmir problem, for any other problem, I think we have to recognize that Kashmiri has an identity, a unique identity, which we have to understand, which we have to recognize. And if we do not do that, then you will never understand a Kashmiri. You will never be able to solve his problems. You will look at him from an angle where a Kashmiri doesn't represent the kind of culture he does, the, the kind of identity that Sheikh Noor Muhammad gave to him. You talked about that the problem is that of looking into the soul of Kashmiri, not, not at his stomach. Mm -hmm. What does that mean in practical terms? It means that deep down sometime, somewhere, we have forgotten to understand the Kashmiri to listen to him. The first thing is that we, the leadership, those who uh, think that they are representing him, they have to learn what the feelings, what the thoughts, what the problems, the issues of the Kashmiri are today and how you can look at these. I think we have to re-educate ourselves about the Kashmiri himself. Only then we can solve his problems. Thank you very much and I once again thank you all for this very enlightened discussion and I hope this leads to something very positive very definite, and Shah Saab organizes some, whatever suggestions have been given, there is a follow-up on this, and we don't just end up with another meeting and doing hi hi, and we do something more positive uh, in the very near future. Thank you very much once again.
Thanks. Uh, thank you very much for participating in this discussion. It has been very useful, I must say. And uh, it has served many purposes. Thank you very much once again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Shah Sahib. <laughs> thank you, Shah Sahib. <laughs>